Hello everyone. Last week we debuted the AMV battery cell and this week we're going to show you how we made them. Today we have Archit, Craig and DeMarco building AMV battery cells. We'll start off with Archit who's stacking the anode and cathode electrodes in a Z-fold configuration where the separator goes back and forth from terminal to terminal while leaving a portion of the copper or aluminum electrode sticking out on both ends. We then take those electrodes and we put them in the oven to ensure that all moisture is removed before insertion into the AMV battery cell. Once the moisture has been removed, we stack four electrode jelly rolls together and then we insert them into the AMV battery cell enclosure or case. Notice that the anode and cathode terminals or the electrodes are actually sticking out so they can connect to the terminals at the end of the cell. We then put a frame on the battery enclosure and a mock anode terminal that is used to compress the pieces together as it goes into the laser welder. We then weld the frame all the way around to ensure a nice tight seal vacuum seal is completed. Once that's done, we attach the anode to the top of the cell and then we do a penetration weld where we connect each one of those electrodes to each terminal on both the anode and cathode side of the cell. After this is done, the cell goes to the fill station where we use vacuum to suck out any oxygen within the cell and then leverage that vacuum or negative pressure to pull the electrolyte into the cell so we get a perfect fill every single time. Once the cell is filled, it's removed, and a plug is placed over the fill port and welded to the AMV cell can. This is the AMV battery cell, a culmination of years of development effort to bring the world's first fast charging battery technology to the electric vehicle market. And we focused on this to drive consistency and performance for our customers that are looking to buy the XT pickup truck. They're looking for consistency, whether it's like today here in Arizona, where it's 117 degrees, or in the middle of Canada, where it can drop below negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And we do this through an innovative electrode and tab design, where not only did we create an energy storage device, but we created an efficient radiator or heat exchanger within the battery pack to extract heat from the system or put heat back in. And the interest in this has been tremendous over the last week. And in fact, today we're signing agreements for thousands of battery packs to be delivered in 2022 using the AMV cell technology. Over the next several months, the team's gonna be focused on validation, testing, and scaling manufacturing as we look to deliver the first products, the first AMV cells in Q4 2021.